All right, it is Thursday and I have a question for you. Are you training this? So if you were to enter a physical fitness event, be that a mud run, um, a weightlifting competition, maybe even a physique competition, anything along those lines, would you train for it? 99% of people would say yes. Whether they actually did train for it would be another story, but they would certainly have the intention of training for it. Because if you enter into an event, you have an intention on having an outcome, whether that is to win or to place somewhere or just to finish the event for your own personal um, achievements. Either way, you would prepare yourself through training. You would do something to ensure that you got through that event and you could manage it to the best of your ability. When I went through my black belt um, exam, I think it was three years ago, I needed to do all types of different training because there were loads of different physical characteristics that I needed and along with all the skills and all the mindset and all that kind of stuff. So I was practicing techniques, so kicks, combos, all that kind of stuff. I was doing pad work, I was sparring, um, in a couple of different formats. I was doing bag work. I was running for my cardio fitness. I was lifting weights for strength. I was doing plyometric um, explosive work. I was stretching, working on my mobility and my flexibility. I was reading. I was watching videos to learn more. I was teaching others as well. So I was taking what I was learning and passing it on to other people. Um, I was visualizing because there were certain intricate movements that I did struggle with. So I would do visualization work around those to try and help build them up. And it was just countless hours of training. And I used to do that with golf as well. But it was all in preparation for the best possible outcome. And that's what anyone would do in the lead up to an event. Most people understand that to do well at something, you have to train for it. It's just a given, it's something that we all accept. So why should life be any different? Life is the biggest event that you're ever gonna take part in, so why are you not training for it? You've got your mind, your body, your heart, your soul. Those are the four quadrants that make up your existence. Those are the four things that if you fail to work on them, you're going to miss out. You're missing a massive opportunity to live a better life. In order to prosper within your life, you have to train. If you don't do that, it's the equivalent of coming last. It's the equivalent of turning up to, say, a tough mudder, having spent three months drinking beer and eating burgers and not doing a single run. You're going to come last and you're probably not going to finish and you're probably going to get injured. And it's going to be a horrendous experience for you. Life's the same. If you hit all four of those areas, then you're guaranteed a better outcome, a better result in the form of a better life than the one that you're living now. And I've been there. Things weren't great. I was a mess. Really, really bad. And it started with just training my body. And I did that a lot to the point where I was pretty proficient at it, but it wasn't enough. So then it went into mindset and that made things look up a little bit. And then it went into training the heart and the soul, looking at feelings and all that deep inner work. And I went down this path of removing the chaos, getting abundantly clear around what I wanted and then putting myself in a position of power so that I could create a better life. Focusing on those four areas allowed me to train myself to live a better life. The process is really simple. It doesn't take much. Like I said, get out of chaos, get clear, get powerful enough to create. It's a very, very simple process. And like I said in Tuesday's podcast, it's a series of small pieces that all add up to a massive, massive result. But if you're only adding pieces in one area and you're neglecting the other areas, then you're automatically capping your capacity to thrive. So here's a question for you. Get a pen and paper, because you're gonna want it to answer this. In your life, which of the four areas have you been neglecting and why? So take some time with this. If you're in the Limitless group, you'll be familiar with using a journal. If not, get a pen and paper or a notebook and find somewhere quiet. 
prep yourself by doing some breath work, just spend a little bit of time breathing and then write down that question and answer it honestly. So in your life, which area have you been neglecting and why? Once you've answered that, that might be a paragraph. It could be like two pages. It doesn't matter. Once you've done that, I want you to draw the quadrant. So a line down the middle of the page and then one line across. And then you're going to put body, mind, heart and soul. And within each quadrant, you're going to give yourself a score out of 10. One being awful, completely neglecting it, not doing anything about it. And 10 being smashing it on it every day. And just give it a score out of 10 for each of those four areas. Then I want you to think about your life 12 months from now. So fast forward 12 months into the future and consider where you would like to be within those quadrants and then write down a second number, the number that you would be happy to have reached within that quadrant a year from now. So let's say I'm an eight in body because I'm training, I'm eating well. In a year from now, I would like to have pushed to a 10. Let's say within your mindset, you may be a two, you're doing nothing. You might read the occasional book or look at a motivational quote, but you're not really doing anything at all. A year from now, you might want to have reached a six. So it gives you an idea of where you're at right now, where you want to go. And if you've answered the questions as well, you'll know why you're not able to get there. You'll have uncovered the blocks and the things that are stopping you. It's a very simple journal exercise, but it'll help you see very clearly what it is you're missing and where you need to do a bit of work to help optimize your life. I would absolutely love for you to share your answers with me. So please feel free to take a snapshot of it. Send it to me. If you're in the Limitless group, I would love you guys to post all of these in there so I can see them. And then I'll be able to, to help you and, and advise you on what we can do to move you forwards in those areas. So take a little bit of time do this journaling exercise and then get in touch and let me see where I can help you and what it is that we need to do to move forwards. I'll see you very soon guys.